You know what the craziest thing about last episode in Amelia's flashback? It's not the evil fairy luring Amelia out to the gates, or the seal, or the fact that Mother Fortuna just got the greatest yet I've ever seen, or better just being juice and being such a handsome man. It's the existence of a basketball in Amelia's room. And I'm like, yo, you're right, there is a basketball there. What, what the fuck? And I'm like, why? Why? Is that a random thing? Is it so unbelievable that a basketball would exist in a show like 3-0 in this forest a long time ago? What is the seal, right? What What is the seal? Well, I thought intuitively it's a seal for Satala. But then my mind started to kind of... And I thought to myself... Maybe it's Hoshin of the Wilderness bringing his basketball from Japan, you know, to here. Maybe that's the case, but what if the seal is actually a seal to a different world, like Earth? And I don't know, fucking... There's, there's like this other crazy shit where basically Subaru's mom has mean eyes, Amelia has mean eyes, Fortuna has mean eyes. And then I try to fucking figure out, did like somebody go there and fuck Subaru's mom and Amelia is the... <laughs> Amelia is like, you know, related to Subaru. No, I don't, I don't think we're going that direction. I don't think we're going that direction, but... The basketball and some other crackpot theories just in my head, I was like, hold the fuck up, what's going on here? Are, are the mean eyes and the existence of the basketball trying to hint that Amelia and Subaru is related? And then you could then theorize that, oh my god, so not only is Subaru fucking grooming, <laughs> it's, it's, it's incestual grooming. No, no, I don't think any of that shit's happening. At the end of the episode, um, Regulus shows up. So at that point, I was like, holy shit, Archbishops do exist at this current time, meaning Juice right now, you know, doesn't have the Witch Factor, therefore he's only a bishop and he must have gone mad because of a Witch Factor that's incompatible because we already know that he's incompatible, right? But let's see what's gonna happen in today's episode. Mm. Rizu, Bilma is going to be dead. Sorry, Shima, Shima. That's right, life span very quick. No, Shima, hang in there. <laughs> Shiba, Ryuba, yeah, no more Baba, bro. They're all Babas, but now they have nicknames. What's up, girl? When she saved, you know, Garfield. The origin. Open the eye. Open the eye. So, like, before the Great Calamity, like before 400 years ago, when Echidna died here, most likely due to Satala or the Witch of Envy? あいらしい顔立ちの少女。ビコ。好き通り。ベリー。何なのかしら。何もくれてやらないのよ。ね、<笑> What a boring, cowardly girl you are, I suppose. And Ryuz is like, mm, harder. Hmm. Because remember, right, the butterflies in her eyes, right? It's also, it's pretty much confirmed at this point that Biko and Puck, right? Both are like, Echidna's children, right? So at this point, Echidna is actually alive, right? She, Echidna died at 19, I think, right? The Great Calamity when the Witch of Envy just basically just takes over the world. But so this is when she's alive. We're literally outside of, it's not even a sanctuary. There's no fucking tomb, like witch's graveyard, right? So wistful. Yeah, Beak would just look great. So Ryuzu was like, wow, so pretty. Mew? Mew? Oh, what a great mother Echidna is. At 19, she's teaching this 
I don't even know how old Betty is, but Betty is basically 400, right? And if we're gonna assume it's like 400 years ago, it's like literally a great spirit that just got spawned now. And she's just like a baby spirit. Like a daughter. Created. Biko is a creation of a kidness, right? Yeah, I forgot about the echidna being a right good mom. <laughs> Let's not forget about the guest that she made. <laughs> yeah, right, 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 right. Akinda did make her fucking just wait for 400 years. <laughs> true, true, very true. God, Betty, you gotta make some friends. God damn, girl, Ryuzu just wants to be your friend. Did they become like best friends? Where's Regulus? Why are we doing this right now? I'm, I'm, I got too caught up in the whole backstory of Echidna and Bieko, but I'm like... Did we not end up on a cliffhanger of Regulus? But like, okay. Okay, this is some important lines. Hold up. After that, the witch and her daughter visited the settlement occasionally. Visited the settlement. But it, this is like a little hut that they live in together. And then they come visit us. <sighs> Jesus! Okay. So mean! Yo, Biko, help her with laundry! <laughs> Why are you following me, I suppose? <laughs> hey. Okay. Sure. <laughs> If you just want to say you're lonely and you want to hang out, just say it. Why? <laughs> just Biko just being so mean and cold and distant. Because I'm just following you because I feel like it. I love how she just stops immediately when Ryuzu stops. <laughs> Help me out with the laundry. <laughs> yeah. Do some work, Biko. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose if you're so pathetic and you can't fold it, I, I could help you, I suppose. You want to be a friend? <laughs> Classic Sundere, bro. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's share it together. Come on. Let's share it together. Come on. Oh, 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 oh it's so cute. Oh, they're sharing the laundry basket together, man. But what does a slice of life moment mean? Life is about to get sliced. And let's keep our guard up, okay? Wonder what Echidna is up to. Meeting with who? Who else Roswell's voice? Because remember, the leading theory right now for me is that 400 years ago, Roswell mentioned, oh, I remember Echidna back then. But it's like, what the fuck? I thought you're a human. This dude. Ancestors are all named Roswell. Roswell J. Mathers, Roswell K. Mathers, Roswell L. Mathers. So is this, yeah, is this Roswell A. Mathers, you know? Because everyone is Roswell. They all look the same too in the fucking pictures. So I think that Roswell has figured out immortality by hopping, descending from one Roswell child to another, like fucking Orochimaru. Roswell, yeah? Yeah, he's in boy form. There was like a girl form Roswell too. Do you think he takes back shots for fun? Because like, he, he, he chooses, right? I, I mean, maybe it's just like, oh, my offing was a daughter this time. I'm, I guess I have to replace a girl. But, but I, I wonder. I, I, I wonder, <laughs> you know? What's, what's your middle initial? Is it Several generations. I thought that the Frederica that talked to Garfield was like a kidna phasing into Frederica there. I don't know. Yeah. So. That's kind of odd. That ram scene was very interesting. Have you met the witch agreed, Barusu? Yeah. 
I see. That's gotta be something. Something is going on here. I don't know what, but this seems very important. I feel like I'm going mad right now. <laughs> you think you're going mad? What do you think I feel when I see both of you that looks the same? <laughs> they are. <laughs> Ryuzu has dark jokes. <laughs> yeah, they must have been like best friends. Also, I just realized... You know how Biko said, oh, I guess, Juice, you've left me behind too. There's like this like sadness that Biko has, after, obviously, after living so many years. And the bonds that she had before just all going away one by one and being stuck in a library by herself. But if we get Biko out, I know it's not the same Ryuzu, but, you know, they could be friends again somehow. Then there's a lot of Ryuzus this time. <laughs> collapsed. What do you mean it collapsed? What do, you, what do you mean it collapsed? The sanctuary seemed to be peaceful on the surface. So what happened? It collapsed. The sanctuary collapsed. It, well, it collapsed and then the sanctuary was made. It's talking about the calamity shit, right? Like, like, it must be when the Witch of Envy then just like destroyed half the world. What's the true reason, actually? I don't know. Bro. Maybe we're going to see the true reason here. <laughs> I'm like, you, you can't just fucking give me that backstory and then leave me with the true reason why the sanctuary is made, then suddenly just cut to the fucking other flashback. Come on, come on. This better fucking tie in together. All right, Regulus. Ooh, his soundtrack is crazy. Bro, Regulus' theme, there's these like... metallic scratching sounds. I don't know how to describe it. It's very unnerving. Uh. Assured. So that like the church has like an actual leader, like the president of the church or something? Like the actual grand wizard exists? Did he? See, see, the thing with Regulus is that he could just be gaslighting Juice right now. So maybe it did happen, but what Regulus is saying, I don't know. Church. Another lolly. Another another lolly? Who, who are you? What's happening? <laughs> I hate how she's hiding her eye, her ears right now. So the design, it's like a blue ribbon thing. Uh, I don't know if I can make any connection with that. Is this silver hair or white hair? I, I don't know. Uh, Regulus is supposed to have white hair. Echidna is supposed to have white hair. Amelia has like silver hair. I'm trying to think like if she's a, an elf or something, but like it's Fortuna saw her and was shocked. So Fortuna knows this, who is this woman? Is she a witch? The way she talks is very soothing. Wow, even this guy fucking bows to her? Okay, she must be like... I don't know what the hierarchies are in the church, but it seems like we found somebody that even the archbishops respect, so that's kind of crazy. We got a name. We got a name, right? Pandora. And based on what she's talking, it does seem like... Satala is simply in the, is, is in the seal right now, right? We've got to use the key to unlock Satala. I don't know. It's just like, the level one thinking is that... <laughs> apologize to my brother and his wife. Take these skewers and apologize. What does that mean? Doesn't that imply that the brother and his wife is dead? If you're saying take these skewers and apologize? Or is she saying, like, even if you take these hits, I know you won't die, but, like, fuck you because, like, you messed up my brother and his wife before. So Amelia's parents are directly associated with whatever Pandora did. <laughs> I, I don't think Pandora will die. 
she seems way too fucking important but what mother fortuna did there was fucking insane she's very strong so now it's seemingly that amelia's parents are actually dead and then the lies that amelia says about like oh amelia i'm so sorry these lies were meant to protect you looking like the lie is that mom and dad are alive <laughs> Well, shit. Uh -oh. True. I'm the victim. How dare you do this? Boss thing is playing. But I saw you get skewered. I saw the icicles go through you. But these, I don't know. She must be a witch, right? She has to be a witch. It doesn't seem like anything damages her. You got a plan? Okay, he got a plan. Flag. No. Oh, is this the last time Amelia sees juice? No, buy juice. No, no, we can't. We gotta watch this. We gotta, we gotta watch this. Echidna's having a lot of fun. <laughs> she was pissed off the entire fucking trial, but now that like shit's popping off and people are suffering, she's like, oh yes, oh yeah, you shouldn't you follow that girl, bro? Wait. So like Jesus fucking Christ, how dare that fucking motorcycle interrupt me during this reaction, but that's kind of crazy. How he literally said, like, you dare let them get away? Well, that's beyond my authority. That's, like, that's within my authority. So according to Regulus, everything is his, right? You got a box. That symbol. Have we seen that symbol anywhere? It's two swords crossed with the, with the big circle and a dot eye. Is, is this some cult shit? I don't know. Knowledge to adapt. What is it? A good journey? Is he about to eat some fucking magic mushrooms? What the, what the hell is about to happen? I don't know. Regulus is like shocked by it. For, and, and Pandora is like, have fun. <laughs> Witch factor, witch factor, witch factor, okay. Sloth, witch factor. This is the exact same shit we saw from Subaru when the powers of invisible uh, fucking providence showed up. So, this is how he turns into Betrugis, right? Well, not really. <laughs> Bishop Petrugis Romanikanti. I, 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 people are confused on like, is his name actually Juice? Is it Betrugis? And, people are, and then I was like, meaning, oh, maybe after he took on the witch factor, he became Betrugis. But it's like... He's, we're known that he's incompatible with it, and that must be why he goes crazy. There's some interesting dialogue of how, like, he doesn't have the knowledge to adapt. I don't know why you would, what kind of knowledge you would need to be more compatible with the witch factor. And then someone entrusted him with the sloth witch factor. Implying, because, like, when Subaru, quote-unquote, killed Betrugus, right? At the end with Rental Goa, after he wrote in the fucking blood with the gospel... We thought, well, I didn't know anything that happened after, but then it was confirmed that Subaru does have the witch factor. So there is a way to like, kind of like take a witch factor from a body and like contain it. Okay. Okay. This is getting very interesting. The Sage Flugel Mansion. Oh, Flugel Mansion. Okay. The Flugel Head. The Sloth Witch Factor. Why? Did Flugel defeat the previous Archbishop of Sloth? I don't know, but this is crazy. I don't know. This is kind of crazy. Because Subaru never had these kind of... But Subaru also did not take the Witch Factor this way, right? There must be what Subaru did differently compared to what Better Goose is doing. Also, just because Flugel said... I'm sorry, doesn't prove that he is the one that entrusted Betrugus with it, but based on the dialogue, it seems very likely, right? <laughs> Have a good journey. She's crying. She's crying. <laughs> and the 
invisible hand. Invisible hand, unknown authority. Okay, him getting tossed around like that's pretty fucking funny. <laughs> this, this is a pretty fucking funny frame, right? <laughs> That is so funny. This, okay, this is probably the worst ReZero animation that I've seen so far. And I'm not saying that this is necessarily terrible, but like, it is pretty funny to me, right? Like, come on, come on. It, it's kind of reminding me of like Targa season two when like the character is kind of like spinning around, like they're fucking like pivoting, like fucking character from fucking Microsoft Paint like that, right? <laughs> To the people, the forests, elf. <laughs> is that his first death? Is is this the beginning of his new, you know, personality death, bro? When is, when does he say no kafuruwaru later on? But all right, it's also. Like, it's so sad knowing all of this and the sacrifices. Like, he literally took in the Witch Factor to save Amelia and Mother Fortuna and to repay the debt that he owes, maybe for failing the people of the Forest Elves. But, like, damn. He did this for Amelia, and then, 100 years later, season one, you know? It's like, ugh, so tragic. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're you breaking the rule set. I thought the witches were witches of the seven deadly sins. You giving me a vanity? What what the what the fuck is vanity, bro? The witch of vanity? I I I it's an old sin? It's Wait, there's the OG sins? The sins that got removed, melancholy and vainglory. So vanity could also be vainglory. There were originally nine sins before the church changed it. So it used to be nine. Vanity and melancholy. And now it's the seven we work with. Oh, okay. so that's cool. Okay, so there's actually nine OGs. I never knew that. Okay. So vanity and then there's melancholy. So which of melancholy still could exist? <laughs> Taida, Taida, Taida. As in, like, she has granted him position of Archbishop Taida right now, right? Pandora loves this, bro. Pandora's personality is so interesting, man. Like, the way that she speaks is also very soft, but it sounds like she's basically this, like, all knowing person. And what she's seeing now, she's even crying tears of happiness, joy. Whatever she's seeing, better to be sacrificing himself. Like, it's really touching Pandora's heart. I'm trying to, like, understand, like, the mentality of this way. <laughs> I'm sorry for ignoring you, bro. He's strong, man. There was no way you should be chosen by the witch factor. So I don't know if that's like a random term or like a random phrase or if it's true that a witch factor actually chooses people and maybe the incompatibility is because, you know, he just simply wasn't chosen. Okay, what is he? How can you do Okay. His neck went 180. His wet his 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 neck went 180. Even if Echidna said the witch factor chose Subaru, that doesn't explain the incompatibility issue. Because Subaru is very incompatible with the witch factor. No 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 no, hold the fuck up. How I'm asking the compa I'm asking like the chosen one and the compatibility issue right now. People have multiple times said that Subaru is not compatible. Fucking cut content, extra content is saying that Subaru is incompatible. His fucking tiny little hand that shows up instead of many hands right now. I think that is already show. And Betrigus didn't fucking train for this shit. He literally already has so many hands of the shadows. So I thought that, huh, Subaru maybe not have proficiency with this skill authority. Or 
you know i don't know but it's looking like chosen one has nothing to do with compatibility right so it has like, what does it mean to be chosen right what's the what's that implication when this guy, he just recovers he just recovers it's just like from the beginning right season two episode one what do we say i i think the cut content kind of talked about how like i thought that because every time he uses authority there was like this like creature like sounds happening there was like an invisible creature just like acting as a guard autonomously but after hearing any cut content it was like what he somehow used his hands up and like some kind of wind shit was happening then he like tear tore away of space or something and then like Crucia's arm then got cut and it was such a clean cut right it was not a tearing off it was like as if he like literally removed space itself but this guy head turns around doesn't matter and he's got like fucking Mugen I don't wanna go there. I don't wanna see that. Yeah. yeah, let's watch. Puck? It looks like even your insufficient <laughs> I wanna see this fight! Play it out! What the fuck? Alright, I guess she's, she's gotta go. Oh, I wanted to see more juice and regulus, but alright. We're back at home. I mean, we know what's gonna Emilia. happen, but still, man, to see them fold in front of Emilia. us. Metaphorically? Me 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 like, 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 as in, like, metaphorically. <laughs> when you say shit like this, I'm gonna take it seriously, but it's like, Fortuna, you really were my real mother. Even biologically, right? It's your sister and, his, and her husband that seemingly is dead because of Pandora, and that's the lie they've been hiding. Mother Fortuna was the mother that I never really had, right? Fortuna-sama! <laughs> Wipe away the tears. Archie. Can't look weak in front of Archie. Murana. No, they're cooked, I'm afraid. <laughs> oh no. It's interesting how they don't say Bishop or Archbishop. Even Pandora has been like... Pandora said Archbishop last episode and then mentioned Regulus as a bishop again. So it's, there's a lot of inconsistency with these subs. <laughs> Is a traitor among us? So it's supposed to be like a super secret? Maybe there was a rat. Juice probably wouldn't rat out, but maybe one of his men sold out. I could maybe see that. What happens? The world will end this time. Oh, it sounded like it was just Attila, right? It, it sounded like it, because like, what happened 400 years ago? Fucking half the world got grazed because of the Witch of Envy. And now the Seal Witch of Envy, and now if you release it, then the world will really end this time. Or, we're getting baited, because that's level one way of thinking. What is, like, the next level ways of thinking? There's something else going on that could end the world, and we're simply getting baited into thinking it's just Witch of Envy? Horshina, you liar. You liar. Ain't happening, bro. Archie, take her. You're the guardian now. That's an order. She said referred to herself as mom, I think, this time. I'll be there. 
I think it's time to replace these flower petals too. Because what Mother Fortuna has, the hair clip, that is what Amelia has in the present. I need help. Promises aren't meant to be broken. You can't break the promises. In our heart, through her memories. Oh, that's the nickname that Puck uses. <laughs> Crackpot theory. Mother Fortuna actually is Puck. No. Puck is already born 400 years ago. Plus, right? If we're assuming that Biko and Puck are siblings that Kidna created, this is 100 years ago. The flashback we saw with the Kidna Biko, that's 400 years ago. One last Sugoku. <laughs> It's a kidna thinking. I stayed up. Shit, Mother Fortuna runs like Naruto. Okay. the church. Ask the fucking author Tape for creating you like this, Amelia. It's so cruel. You didn't do anything wrong, but. There's just these people coming up for the fucking seal and you guys, you guys are important in the forest. And that's the worst part. This child keeps thinking like how her breaking the promises is her fault, you know? She's like, I promise I won't break the promise again. Please, please stay around. It's just like, oh. She's like blaming herself for this shit. <laughs> Archie Glazer. What? What the fuck was that? Black slime. Th Wait a minute. In Frozen Bond, there was the serpent, the black serpent venom. We didn't see for a while. It's still here. It was always been here. The snake lives in Elior Forest? <laughs> was that the serpent or was that the actual fucking like venom? I, I can't tell because it's the venom is elongated and into a slime form and sleeking into the fort. I don't know. Is, 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 is this the fucking snake? Because we've never seen the serpent. But if it is the serpent, then we should see like the purple halo thing around it. I'm gonna assume that it's just the venom. That it's a serpent looking venom. Oh shit, okay, if you get bit, if you interact with the venom or something, this is what happens, like, it just starts corroding, like, holy shit. Cut that leg off, cut that leg off. <laughs> when did Crucible disease, when did <laughs> What the fuck is the timing of the serpent, man? Wait. This is the stump he froze after cutting off his leg. I thought it was a clean cut. But the play continues. <laughs> so is this literally implying like I, I It sounds like you can't even cut the poison off. Like if you like, like I don't know, maybe there's some traces of the play. It's like maybe like, you know. It's just because the part that you cut off was right over here. It doesn't really mean that the poison hasn't, you know, reached over here yet, right? I don't know, but this implies that like this shit is you get you get touched by one GG. The seal. The seal is beyond there, right? Go, Emilia, run. And also, I think Mother Fortuna will come back. You know why? You know why I think Mother Fortuna will fulfill a promise and Emilia will see her again? Hair clip. It's that simple. Amelia still doesn't have the hairpin. Exactly, right? She still has the flower one, so Fortuna will show up. Did he go out with the bang? 
What did Archie do there? Did he go up with the bang? Because he was like, do you think I'll let you... You think I'm gonna let you go? Like, 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 if you say you think I'm gonna let you go, like, did he do something at the end that we didn't see? Because it sounds like he just fucking let him go. Okay, Regulus Juice, Pandora. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, what did he do there? Let's see it again. The arm... T is he also using Unseen Hand here? Because it looks like the arm is being twisted off and cut, right? Regulus does a simple motion. He did that thing again where he like... He goes like this and it gets cut off, kind of like when he hit the Krush. I, I don't know. It, it's, it's, it's really weird. I, I don't understand his powers because it's all fucking invisible. I feel like it's some wind fucking space shit. It's too OP. <laughs> I'm not a sadist. It just looks like that because you're too weak. <laughs> I, I wonder if he's lying. What the hell? Pandora herself is saying you're more special and perfect than anyone. That makes you wonderful. That's a lot of glaze from someone that I think is the highest hierarchy of the cult members and, you know, witches so far. I wonder if the perfection thing talks about... It, it's all about the compatibility, the witch factor. I don't know. So, this time, this is interesting. Beyond, you know, <laughs> Regulus going, which, which is pretty funny, right? Look at this. Why did it not happen this time? Right? Because he was distracted. So his authority is not like in auto shield, you know? It was, he was off guard. Because if it's automatic defense, then this should have been defended against. So he needs to actively think about it, huh? Yeah, Betrigus too, when he grabbed, you know, Regulus in the beginning, he was also off guard. He was invisible. Oh, he yapping. <laughs> if there's a lolly, always show her the feed. Bro, but like, why? Like, so, we, we know a little bit more now. It's not like an automatic guard. But on top of that, he just doesn't take damage. That's the most crazy shit. He doesn't take damage. Now, if he was hit by an attack that could destroy everything in one go, like Reinhardt's, you know, Ryuken, right? The Dragon Sword. If he was hit by that, maybe he would just disintegrate. But any random attacks, like, no fucking damage. <laughs> Let's chill out, bro. Oh? Pandora saying nah? They can't die here? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so far, he was respectful. <laughs> so far, he was very respectful. <laughs> It's like when I get super fucking mad for no reason, and then someone in chat says, Bro, calm down. And I say, Did you just fucking tell me to calm down? Banned! <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> so, this power is interesting. Right? Beyond the absurdity happening, what happened here? He, like, this is sand, like dust from the ground, right? He throws the dust from the ground up. But this time, the dirt then transforms into these objects to skewer her. How does that make sense with the invisible powers he has before? Because the invisible powers is really has to do with wind? And like the wind somehow like then created those dust and made them into little bullets to attack her? Is, is the core of his magic wind? What do, you, what do you mean, no? 
Fortuna, you also just fucked up Pandora immediately. But maybe she's shocked that like, oh my god, she actually turned into like a mist of blood. She should be fine, right? <laughs> but we know that Goose doesn't die here. Oh, man. These two really were meant for each other. Juice, you gave me strength every time you visited. <laughs> you, you want to be a part of this? Like, I, I don't think there's anything I can do to make you not mad. I, 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 I talk when you're talking, you get mad. I don't talk when you're talking, then you're still gonna get mad and say, Oh my god, how dare you fucking ignore me. Pandora. She forgave him. <laughs> and dunked him. <laughs> okay, so Pandora also doesn't take any damage. Even if she gets fucking eviscerated into a mist of blood, she will just spawn back up. I think she just basically just pushed him down, right? It's kind of weird how does... Did she just like dunk his head, head in? Yeah. Yeah, but she basically stepped on him. She literally just stepped on him, right? And just put him down into the ground. Is this supposed to display her superior strength? What goal? Oh, with her hand. She fucking... She literally palmed... So, okay, she's super strong. But like, what was the goal here? For Regulus to witness Juice taking the Sloth Factor? For Regulus to start shit? And then for the entire village to be under attack? And for Amelia? I, I, I guess the purpose is done, right? Like, they're closer to the seal than ever. This angle is very suspicious. <laughs> it, it's very suspicious. Many wives. She ev the things that she says, her authority is my words are the law, like some god shit in Misfit of Demon King Academy. If they say something. It just happens. What? What? The Witch of Vainglory or Vanity is pretty fucking insane. Bye, and the hole is gone too. <gasps> like what? <laughs> what? How are you alive? Are oh, you gaslighting me now? <laughs> the trees, the trees around us. <laughs> Crazy shit. Crazy shit. Now, it's not on the same... Like, like, you know how when the white whale or gluttony erases names or memories, right? It seems like the world kind of like rewrites the script to accommodate that. Like when Rem got eaten by the whale or the fog. Rem was like, who's Rem? And then we went to Rem's room and nothing was there. It's kind of similar in how like she's like removed Regulus here. And now all of his actions are also fucking gone. But she can selectively... Keep the witch factor being consumed. Her powers are... It's scary. Since when were you under the impression that Regulus Corneas was here? Wanna entertain that thought? Do some eyes and shit? It was all an illusion. It didn't happen. <laughs> we were all in her head. <laughs> oh, 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 crazy shit. Uh, I don't know. I don't, maybe. Maybe. That'd be some crazy shit though, right? It's kind of a bullshit fucking writing. It, it, it's, it's meme. It's fun, right? For Aizen to always be like, <laughs> since when were you the assumption that I did that? Right? It's bullshit. You can just do stuff and erase it, but like, it seems to me that she has this ability to just like, <laughs> change reality as she sees it. She says Regulus should not be here. Regulus should be with this mansion with this mini wise. Boop. Gone. And then, can also fix the shit here too. Okay.
commend you on your behavior. But Pandora's kind of happy about this, right? She like sees the beauty in Juice and Fortuna. Listen, I don't think we can fucking fight. <laughs> Did you just see what happened? <laughs> Dude, like you were getting bodied by Regulus and she just like made him poof. I don't think we can do anything here. Incantation. Pandora loves this shit. The day Betrugius laughed. Has he laughed so far? He said this, but he hasn't maniacally laughed just yet maybe this is hinting because like again remember like i think it is going to be today and like later betrugus's mind is probably going to snap because i remember an episode where it's just, it's called the maiden's gospel and i'm like maiden's gospel but we didn't un see until the next episode where it's biko's gospel so i think that this episode title is hinting that next episode betrugus is gonna fucking go insane and then he will start laughing like the romani conti that we know in the current timeline in season one and that, my man, ladies and gentlemen, that's, 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 that's today's episode. Wait, there's more? Wait. Oh, 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 Emilia, no. No, Emilia, no. Don't do it, Emilia. Also, where's the fairy? We haven't seen the fairy today, huh? The blue spirit that I thought could be Puck. I wonder if the blue spirit was Pandora. I don't know, but where, where's the blue spirit? <laughs> Evil. Evil spirits. No, don't be tempted, Emilia. <laughs> Dude, the more I think about it, could, could this could this fairy be Pandora in disguise? I don't know. I mean, it's like last time it was fucking Melaquera, <laughs> you know, doing that evil shit. Right now, the obvious answer seems to be Pandora. Because there's no way Puck right now would be lying to Amelia about this shit, which is even more confusing that Puck knew of Amelia. But in this, because like I'm assuming whatever's about to happen, there's gonna be a critical point. Then Amelia freezes everything and gets put into a seal, and then Puck is like, "Oh no, I took forever to find you." But Puck wouldn't deceive Amelia like this unless it's part of the fucking script, and he's also following the fucking grimoire. But it just feels like these evil fairies are doing exactly what Pandora would want. <laughs> Poor kid, man. She just wants to save everybody. I know that this is being a little stupid, but what do you expect from a child? She just wants her family back, man. She just wants her friends back. We're back to this place where this place is a different world, man, right? This is... Are you the fairy? I mean, she got a little blue, right? Her eyes are also blue. I think that this pretty much means that she was the fairy, right? Hello? And that... For sure is the episode and yeah you know the first half was the echidna biku rizu and roswell stuff but this stuff going on at the end which of vainglory which of vanity so i was under the assumption that everything is just seven deadly sins but actually the lore is nine deadly sins the ogs vainglory slash vanity which turns into pride i guess and then there's also melancholy so that may still exist back then crazy shit pandora also at this point she still exists you know like i know that the witch of envy consumed the six other witches which are the ogs but it seems like not the ogs but like the you know the seven that we're familiar with or the six we're familiar with but it seems like she was never impacted like vanity pandora was like don't care and her powers she just rewrites history as she sees fit i don't know what the restrictions of her powers really are. Because if she truly wanted to, could she not just say, this seal will simply open before me Pandora, and then the world will now end for sure. 
but she can't do that meaning there's rules that she can follow like she can't just simply just say that shit and everything be solved or it'd be too fucking much regulus and pandora also seemingly takes no damage regulus's powers the more i observe it right now we know of like it's not an automatic like defense he needs to be aware of it he doesn't really seem to take damage but he also you know used the dust in the air and changed it into fucking things so it, it seems like it's it's more wind incorporated and even though it's looking pretty bad at the end right we still don't have the hair clip yet so i i expect fortuna to show up and juice too in the next episode i'm sure we'll figure out why today is the day that juice laughs as he falls into fucking insanity after he can't protect either or but that's it for me if you're still here and if you enjoyed this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for more content and until next time Take care.